Yo, what's going on guys? Izum here. And today we're gonna talk about how to get better placement in solos. Yes, it varies from map to map, but I can also tell you things that can help you in all maps. This all comes down to strategically placing yourself in uncomfortable positions or trying to find the best strategy around other players. Audio is highly important as well as paying attention to the kill feed. If someone is fighting around you, you can use that to your advantage to move into the circle or move into a, posi a better position that you could potentially have. Utilities is also just as important as your gun. If you're put in a situation and there's no smokes, there's no cover, and you just you cannot throw smokes because you don't have them, well, you might have to get lucky for the person to actually be really bad at aim. You can use the foliage if there's a lot of foliage to your advantage, but the, when someone has sights on you, they, they probably won't be able to lock off of you. And from my experience, people normally don't miss now. I also don't know how many times that I've been behind a rock right in front of someone that's also behind a rock or a tree, and then I have no nades to throw at them, but they have all the nades to throw at me, and I'm dead because I have no utilities to protect myself for a potential grenade kill. And that's where it comes down to using your utilities in appropriate situations. Today I'll be going over my choices in this game and which led me to get top placement. Right now I'm having fun shooting bots with my unscoped M24. Yes, I have. I looked everywhere, could not find scopes in this game. And yes, there are a lot of bots right now at this time in NA time because uh, yeah, fast, I, I don't fast, know. Too NA's, furious, too furious. NA's very slow when it comes to solos. You can pretty much get insta queue in, in squads and duos, but you know, it's, solos is just you know, solos is just a hit and miss. But this, I think this is a uh, Sandhawk half and half, uh, 50 50 bots and, and no bot and players. It's already 33 people alive on phase two circle. And right now, I took the scooter because I wanted to get positioned quickly. And yes, good or bad idea, good in my situation. But it could be bad in other situations, but if I'm a decent ways from the circle, you know, it, it, why not, right? So there's there's no there's no wrongdoing unless you get wrecked but by the, the sound of it, but in my case, I didn't. And right now, I'm. you normally Close see me enough. at the edge of circles. Yes, I know. Ezum, you I can't play like this. Like you have to go get, get position in the honest. circle. You have to go get a better position. But at the same time, I'm clearing out my my back. Because I know I killed a lot of a lot of players, and I know a lot of people yeah. dropped right around me. So right now, the best thing for me to do is get the high ground, and then look down right at the edge of the circle and make sure no one else is coming up. Because when no one, when you think no one else is coming up, and you leave, well, seconds later, someone can be coming from the circle, and then they'll they'll wreck you because of that. And <sighs> I don't I don't really tell people not to stay on the edge of the circle but I also in certain maps yeah, I probably no wouldn't play like this on the edge of circles but, but I'm not going to deny it is probably one of the best things you could po potentially do because it, it sets for a good control of learning where if you're clear or not in terms of player position is, and right now I am running to the, the edge of the circle where I'm inside the circle I'm using trees as cover to make sure I'm not. I have cover if in case I get shot at. There's a wide open area. I ignore that wide open area and turn around to where the actual trees and foliage and and rocks are, and I'm still clearing out behind, clearing out, ma making sure I am super clear. And right, right, see, right there. That's why. That's exactly why I wanted to make sure I was clear because that guy had no idea. I don't know if that's a buy. I don't think so. From the loot he had, he had scopes. He had he was he was my scope little, little scope bag, brother and sisters. Like, <laughs> look look at this guy. Look at this loot, bro. Look at this loot. Like scope, scope, scope. Yo, thanks, man. Oh my god, I was, I was looking for a scope for all my life in this game, and <laughs> he was literally my loot bag. And right now, I do double back. This is kind of dangerous to double back to your to your kill, oh, especially when there's no trees or anything covering me. But I wanted to double check and get those meds because look how far I have. So I took into account how far I had to go. Yes, I wasted seconds getting those meds, but those meds will save me down the line deposit, just man. in case I do get stuck behind <laughs> the circle and I have plenty of meds. Especially that med kit. So I think, yeah, it's a higher second to, to use it, but it can also save me without using painkillers and stuff. And I normally want to stay full boosted because if you have full boost, you can potentially def uh, def deflect, not deflect, but you can live through a headshot 
in terms of like a sniper rifle, depending on the sniper rifle. Not all sniper rifles, but I, I the other day I hit someone with uh, the Dragunov gun, and I shit you not, they had almost no HP left. They had a sliver, uh, like, like a the less than right a millimeter. Okay. Trust me, it was it, you uh, couldn't even see their health. All right. And I was like, how? So I went back to the replay. Sure enough, he had full boost. So I was like, wow, this gun, I thought it was a one-hit headshot, not when you have a full boost. And he, just a sliver, survived that. So make sure you do have full boost. And right now, I don't have full boost because I'm trying to run from the circle. Uh, also, I am uh, hugging the, the, uh, the side of the, the rocks here just to cover myself, which I'm not covered from the compound in front of me but until I get to right here to these rocks. Ah, so if someone's shooting at me. From that compound, they could have easily had me. me. And then I'm getting shot from above as well. Sadly. <laughs> sadly, sadly. And I have to I have to think, well, he's going to keep shooting at me. So I and position myself. Game. So in solos, it is kind of like, oh, my God, I always get sandwiched in between these. So my perfect plan was to stay right here and then have this guy shoot me, have this guy behind me reposition, because I know he's going to reposition. That's why I, I need to get this guy up above eliminated, because the guy the guy behind me has a better gun. This guy has a, a M M16, and I'm, I'm still getting shot. I think this is a bot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's a bot. Of course there's a bot attacking me at the edge of the circle. <laughs> If that bot shot at me and that guy in the compound wasn't looking at me, he would have given away my, my position. So look at this. So I know there's a guy in the compound in front of me, right? I, I smoke out. I smoke out where he, I, I'm, I think he's going to go right here. So I smoke out uh, above to make him think I'm going to go up and through the smoke, right? But no, I make him think. I make him think that, but I'm going to do something completely different. Yes, it's phase three of the circle. 20 seconds, 19 seconds left before it becomes phase four, I believe. Which I don't think... This is why I got those meds, by the way. Because you never know. You absolutely never know. And, well, in my case, I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to go dip down into quarry. That way I'm completely out of his line of sight. But I'm also opening hey, myself up to the other side. Yeah, you might think, oh, he's them. There's a whole other way up there. Yes, but I also uh, later on, I heard shots, right? I heard shots, so I know they're fighting up there. So I have perfect planning to move up and get this over with. And you know, there's also loot up here, too, so I, that I can loot. Luckily enough, I, I had <laughs> I found some decent loot <laughs> to, to snatch. I was like, <laughs> thank you. But, yeah, right now, uh, I'm just double-checking. Yeah. Making sure if uh, if he's going to shoot up there, if oh, he's going to fight, please. if he's going to look down at me. I, I am susceptible to anything that could happen to me right now. But if you if you look, the shot to my left, there's shots to my left at that compound. Yep. So uh, I, I look up there to make sure they're not looking down at me. And then I snatch out energy drink, use the energy drink, full boost, get that full boost, get those uh, four bars. And yeah, I get those full bars. And I'm pretty much oh, risking it. I, I, I don't think they're, they're still looking at me. Now I'm worried oh. about this guy up here, that yeah, M, M loot bot guy. I believe that's the, the guy who, uh, who keeps shooting the M24 right next to me. And well, while he's shooting and having fun, I'm going to go. And this is very risky because he could easily go, come up here behind me, look down at me, which he doesn't do that. I heard, I heard some shots. So as people are shooting, I'm moving. I am moving. If I see someone, I'm not shooting at them because I'm trying to get position. And right now, I have a really good position right up here at this, uh, this little place up here. But at the same time, yes, oh, that whole area right is, there. well, it's going to be consumed here, here yeah, in a second by a circle. But right now, anyone could take me out in terms of up there. Or I could try and run away, but I kind of risk uh, looking back and forth because this guy back here could be back here. And I'm trying to see where he's at. If he's prone, he might be prone out. He might not be. So I'm continuously looking. I know he's up here because he had to move from that compound. This is the guy from the compound that I ran all the way around from. And luckily, if 
I came around where he was coming around, we would have fought each other in that third person. He sees me. I see him. I take the shot. He's got to move uh, in circle. He's not in circle yet. But right now, I back up. I try to get a better position. He moves up. He's going to go up the hill. In, in, my, in my case, not the best of ideas. But in his case, better. because I think he goes around, but I'm not sure. I don't see him at all after this. So I think he went around the hill and up, which I'm assuming that's what he did because I don't see him. And right now, I have nades thrown at me. And I thought the, the guy up here, 265 was throwing nades at me but i'm like wait is he pushing me and it's confusing right but you, you don't see the guy for a long time how did he throw a nade all the way over there from all the way over here and it's never dawned on me that hey there might be someone right up here to the east so right now i'm gonna sit here and boost up and, and uh, i spot him yep he's up there so there's no way he was the one pushing me right i shoot it i hit him i hit him he goes back and yeah, he goes back to heal. I have someone pushing me. And I throw a stun grenade. Boom. Downed him. Instantly got the guy who was pushing me. And somehow my heal my heal just stopped. But that's uh, see, if that guy who threw that grenade just pushed without throwing a grenade, which I had no idea it was him throwing the grenade. He could have easily pushed and killed me. And well, that was his mistake for not pushing first while I was out of cover. I had no cover from there other than me going around the other side of the rock. And it looks like the guy has the ghillie guy has a FAMAS and he's up there owning. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to loot his, his meds. I'm going to boost up. Now I'm going to boost up and it, it's good to, to actually do that because that way you get extra meds that way you can boost up right some now. more. And also, Make sure they're make sure the loop the loot box isn't in, in wide open. If it is, throw smoke on it. But if you're not in circle, I wouldn't really worry about smokes. You just get in and get out. Uh, it really depends. Like I said, it, a lot of this just depends on the situation. So I'm covered. I, I switched my my vest out for his because this is level three. He has an arm. Of course, he has an arm. So I I, I have a level three helmet now and, and all this mama jambo. <laughs> but. Uh, I don't get to use the arm in this game, sadly. But, you know, it, it's good to know that I have it so I can do some really serious damage yeah, to people. He doesn't have any smokes either. And right now I'm spending too much time looting him because I'm just trying to... I, I, dude, it's when you get in these situations, it's it's hard to, to stay concentrated on what you need and what you don't need. What I can do is drop some of that uh, 5.56 five, ammo and get the smokes. But I got the smokes. I got my utility. Right I, I don't have any more nades. I think he wasted all those nades throwing it at me. I'm double checking. Double checking. And right now the circle's moving. So I'm going to have to move down. That's I'm going to have to move it, down. Bro. That was the crate he got his stuff from that I stole. Hell yeah, bro. And absolutely wrecked his vest. But, you know, it's whatever. So I'm, I'm double checking. I'm not looking to my left, which is really bad. I need to start looking to my left. Yep, that's why. So right here, this guy didn't never expect that peak. He he instantly tried to go for a utility throw, and in my honest opinion, uh, if I do anything. if you light someone up, try to get a position behind a rock or something, or like a tree, rock, any position that you could possibly get. Don't immediately go for the utility throw, because what I just did was I took advantage of that. He would think, oh, he's going to heal, right? He's going to heal. No, no, no. I'm not going to heal. I got your ass right where I wanted you to make you think I was going to heal when I went behind that rock. And he was he threw the nade. That was his mistake. He went for the utility throw. He could have been. So what I was suggested for this guy to be behind this rock right here and then throw the utility. Like, don't ever shoot at someone like that right out in the open when you have cover next to you. That is the worst mistake. That was his mistake he made besides throwing him utility and, and not checking for the double peak. So I, I slayed him. I got, <laughs> and unfortunately, I got owned by a VSS when I had low health left. And I don't even know where this guy is. I don't even see him. I think, I think he might be over here maybe to the top left because I died right here. So he can't be over there or over here unless he's over here on the right side, but I figured I cleared that out.
as you see, I had perfect positioning. I positioned myself away uh, in the quarry, away from this guy in the compound. The, the guy in the compound could have easily had me. He could have easily had me right here as I'm coming down at, uh, right here while I was walking across those rocks. He, ah, yeah, he could have easily had me right there, but he waited so long to so shoot at me, me that I got away. And I don't know if he died eventually or not. Well, we'll never know. Okay. But this is my situation, my scenario, what I'm thinking, my process. Like, I don't want to get shot by this guy or and the, I'm taking into account the guys behind me. So there, there's a lot of things I go through in a game. And I, sometimes you might think it's overthinking. Maybe. I don't know. But it got me to the point where I got, what? What did I get? Well, my thinking process got me to the point where I got number three. So I don't think that was all that bad. Position was great. It just wasn't the time for me to get a win in this game. But guys, I hope I did help you in finding your position or trying to find a position better or finding your way around a situation to be a little bit more smarter about it, strategic about it. And if I did help you, that's great. That, that's what I'm making these videos for. I've been playing PUBG since 2017. I've been playing, F like, I put thousands of hours in these games, and I'm just glad to teach everyone else my ways and getting at least top position, like top five, right? I mean, come on, man. Or at least the chicken dinner, too. Can't rule that out. But I hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.